Hey y'all, come on in, sit down, we'll talk for a while. Hey y'all, come on. Hey guys, I am going to show you um, what I'm doing for NaNoWriMo when it comes to my storyboard book plotting. Um, I've showed it to you guys before, but you wanted to kind of see me fill it out, so that's what I did. I have an overhead um, of that that I'm going to attach um, into the video. And I'm really excited for you guys to see it, how I kind of go from um, just the simplest ideas into a full-blown story. It's fun for me. So I'm excited for you guys to see it too. Um, I did not fill it out. I didn't do, I didn't want to I didn't want it to be too terribly long of a video so it's not going to be filled out like to this capacity with all my notes and all my little tips you know little things that I do because I make three passes through it um, and then it's it's going to be it kind of shows you this I don't know if you can see it or not because of the lighting my lighting is horrible in this room when we move I'm definitely getting a filming room <laughs> So I am going to jump over to the overhead and put that in now so you guys can see what everything looked like and what I did. And then I'm excited. I will see you back in just a minute. <laughs> okay guys, I am going to try this one more time and I hope I can get it to work. <laughs> I am working on getting all of this together for you guys for today hopefully I can get it edited and up today I'm just not sure at this point but I'm gonna try all right so my storybook I pulled out a page so we could go through it step by step the first thing I do is I always have my book title up here Rebecca. I have what act I'm in. I'm in block five. And I put what block five is. Block five is my action of the protagonist and antagonist. Then I will pull my notes together that I have took over the course of my plotting and planning time. And I go ahead and I set the scene for when and where I think it's supposed to be. Let me stand up and make sure we're still in frame. Uh, pretty good. There we go. All right. So, I'm right here, I'm just going to put what chapter we're in. I haven't named it yet. I will in a few minutes. Okay. My first scene is going to be at the library. Where Hunter confronts Josie. Okay. And then my B scene from an and I'll I'll over here is where I'll put what point of view they're gonna be in. I am going to be at Lily's house dinner where Michael and David have conversation with Tam and Azzy 
And then here, we don't really have a location. But this is going to be, oops, my A is a little wonky. Bad guy monologue. Because we don't want to reveal who the real bad guy is right now at this point, this early in the book. Now, this part, this area here, is where I put um, little dialogue that I don't want to forget. And I know that Hunter is not happy with Josie, but he's also just because he's worried. So he's going to call her her nickname. So I know I want that in that scene. In this scene, I have to remember Tam says. Pam says it as he says. Interesting. And then down here, I'm not sure how I want to go about it exactly. I think I want it, this is notes over here that the reader wouldn't know yet, but I think I want it to be Dr. Chen um, looking over um, the real bad guy. Dr. Chen's old notes in research. And him deciding if he's going to help our heroine or not. Okay. And that's basically how I do this. Um, I will then sit down and just kind of go back over it until I get to a position where it's more like this. And it's all filled out. I have more information um, and anything that I have put in my notes that I'm like, oh, that's going to be better next chapter, I'll box around and move over. And that's what I did in this scene. Then, if I have anything um, come up after my third kind of plotting planning time, I will grab, like if I decide, okay, this is, this is in Michael's POV, but I don't want to forget that Lily's there and she says something really important, I will pull her color card and I will write the dialogue for Lily. And I won't write the whole thing, of course, I'll just like get it started. Um, and I just, you know, put, you know, what it is that I wanted her to say at that point. And I will tag that in. And actually, um, I have some see-through uh, stickers that um, I sometimes use instead of these. But for right now, because we're not too entrenched and I'm not editing, I'm just using the, the regular ones that aren't so expensive. So, that is how I do that. So I am now going to go try and edit this up a little bit and see where we can get with it. Okie dokie. There we go. Hey guys, here's a close up um, of what the page looks like. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm very happy that everything worked 
it didn't look as great as I wanted it to on the edits, but I'm getting better at it. I'm figuring it out. And these are those sticky notes that I was talking to you guys about that I said were see-through that I use sometimes. But I normally use these with when in editing because they really come in handy because I can like lay it over this and see you can't see it right now but then I can write something like I can put take this out and again you can't really see it because of the there we go so I really like those they work really well I got them on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it in the description below, but I'm not sure if I have it, but I'll try and find it. But I hope you guys are having a good NaNoWriMo. Um, I am struggling a little bit. It was going, my writing was going pretty good. And then last Sunday, um, due to some work issues in my day job, um, I had some stress that ended up, I just had to take care of myself for a while and not really worry about work. Um, so I ended up not working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because I was so stressed out. And, um, I... glasses now so I can talk to you guys like this. I want to talk to you a minute about stress and about taking care of yourself and not only you know in your writing life but in your everyday life. Whoever you work for um, it might be a pain for them to replace you. You might be a very valuable employee that they really adore but within two to three weeks time they could replace you but you know who can't replace you your husband your children your girlfriend your wife your boyfriend the people who love you can't ever replace you so don't let something as trivial as money because that's what jobs all boil down to take you away from the people who are your purpose, the people who are your why. The reason I want to write and tell my stories, the reason I do what I do is for my kids, for my husband, for my family, because, and for myself, because I love it. It's my joy. It's my passion. It's where my happiness lies. And I also enjoy my job. I do. But sometimes you have to take a step back and just take care of you. Now that's just some mama bear advice. Just from me to you, my heart to yours. So I hope you have a great rest of NaNoWriMo. I will see you all Monday and Thursday nights at my live sprints. I hope you can attend. They're from 8 to 10 on my YouTube channel and over on Heart Breathings, my beloved Sarah Cannon's channel. I am hosting on her behalf. We also have our virtual writing retreat coming up next weekend with Miss Sarah Cannon. And the famous author, Miss Sarah, will be hosting Sprints at 9 o'clock on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I hope you guys can make it. It's going to be a great time. We're going to have a good time this coming weekend. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. And you know what I'm going to say before I say it? But I'm going to say it anyway. I may not be everybody's cup of tea. But I'm a really awesome group of people double shot of whiskey and i'm so proud and so happy that you find me just right i love you guys i will talk to you soon hey guys like and subscribe <laughs>